Making energy is about one of the dirtiest things we do on the planet. Uh, it puts more pollution and toxins in the air than just about any other industry. Energy has one of the biggest potential effects on climate change for the planet, second only to transportation. Some of the economics are changing around it. Coal is actually going away, not because there's any push to take coal away, but because it's not economically viable anymore. Renewables are marching in quickly to replace a lot of the thermal energy in production. What's happening on a local level Energy is actually being produced in communities. So big power plants sitting at the grid center pushing electricity to the grid edge are actually being replaced with local power plants sitting on people's roofs producing electricity. These sources are really beginning to displace some of the larger energy production. There's a concept called transactive energy, the idea that you can transact really small amounts of energy, allowing people to help manage the utility grid to help manage the production, the consumption, and receive the full value of doing that. Having the ability to do that in very fast, very secure, transparent ways uh, is really what the blockchain platform is about. We're talking about a planet that runs on energy before it even touches money. Blockchain, as it relates to energy and the system that we're building, looks different. Our blockchain really isn't focused on financial settlement. It's focused on running a utility grid in an architecture that is as virtually impossible to break. So the architecture we're looking at is really multiple blockchains running in clusters at the grid edge, connected to another blockchain, meter data coming from the grid edge, the stuff that you need to run a utility grid, volts, vars, phase angle, reactive power, all these things that grid engineers talk about, that's the data that we use to build this blockchain. It's this architecture that's going to make this grid of the future fast acting and transactive and allow you to participate in a different way while providing grid edge security that we just don't have today. I'm the business owner of Rolling Press. We are one of the first environmentally friendly printing companies in the greater part of New York City. We produce magazines, books, and brochures, and so there's a lot of equipment that consumes an enormous amount of electricity. We heard about the LO3 Brooklyn microgrid last winter. It's part of our mission to do something sustainable. It's a great feeling to be able to buy energy from our neighbors. It's kind of like a local VOR uh, economy. Clean energy for me is very important because my son was young and I wanted to show him that it's possible and feasible for families to be able to do something like this. It's important to me that I'm involved with this Brooklyn Microgrid community because it's a ground level approach to establishing something that's going to be much more common in years to come. We're really trying to bring strategic partners to the table, folks that see the similar vision of the future. We're already working with some of the industry giants, building some technology connecting to existing grid technology to enable that future. It's been a great synergy between what LO3 is working on and what we at Siemens work on. Normally, when we talk about electricity markets, you know, we're talking about what does it take at the transmission grid, right? Between cities, between substations. Or we're talking at the distribution grid, which is down to maybe a transformer in a neighborhood. What LO3 is doing with blockchain is getting it down even further so that it's between neighbors. So there's two main micro trends in this energy marketplace today. One's really about distributed energy like solar, wind coming online. Second is really about consumers and wants to really have a participation. L3 is a really a pioneer in this area. Overall, we think this is a perfect time for making investment. We're in an industry where there's dramatic change occurring and the challenge is not to make these technologies show up and work, but to, but to actually get them deployed at large scale and have the system work. And this is the time when you're gonna make a revolution in an industry where you do work hard. And this is the time where you're gonna make a revolution in a company like LO3. This is really a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something really important that will have impact for hundreds of years. What we're looking to do now through this token sale, take that blockchain, and expand it, develop a network of people interested in fostering this growth, making investments that accelerate this new future, that get us there faster than we could on our own.